Hey everybody, we are in the garage, the repository of some games here, and tonight we got Zeke's Peak, and my 12 year old son Ethan is going to show you all how to get to the top. Here we go. Zeke's Peak Potato, slightly more rare than ice cold beer, family themed. Here we are for number four. Some people say that this little character in the corner down here looks like Hitler. Maybe, maybe not. All right, we're up to five already out of ten. Going for number six. With this game, as you get closer to the top, it gets, of course, more difficult. There's more holes. Now we're on to number 8 out of 10. Ethan's got a couple unconventional routes he takes through here. You'll see in a minute. All right, now we're to number nine. One more after this. See, he's played this game before once or twice. Number 10, which I didn't even know, had a red light bulb in it because 
I had never been that high before. light show here. Most impressive. I think the best I've ever done myself was six. Yay! And this red star would mean that you got a free beer. But in our garage, all you get is a free Coke. So the game starts over again, but now the bar jumps up, and the bonus timer, I think, is a little shorter, too. So this Zeke's Peak came from the St. Louis auction not working. Pretty good side art. Control panel overlay is original. Cab was in really nice shape. It just needed new belts like they all do. I think I put a couple of bridge rectifiers in the power supply. And that is it. We got a Joust, it was a $10 garage sale find, and a Robotron, and Battlezone number one, with no color overlay yet, Donkey Kong, another Battlezone, Seaberg M100B, waiting for restoration, and some other goodies back here, Dragon's Lair, Centipede Cabaret, Gorf, Galaga, Star Castle times two, Cubert. Evil Knievel and others. Alright, so that's the YouTube video of 1 to 10 for Zeke's Peak. On the first ball. On the first ball, yeah, owned. Alright, good job.